Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports, and today I want to talk about MLB free agency. The market's been pretty slow with the uh, CBA and a potential lockout, but there's a starting pitcher on the Boston Red Sox who is gaining some early interest. That pitcher is Eduardo Rodriguez. What I want to talk about today is why Eduardo Rodriguez is getting so much interest early on and who are some potential teams who have interest in him in the process already. Again, I'm Alec Walt. This is Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Yes, Eduardo Rodriguez is a pitcher receiving a ton of interest. According to John Morosi, two teams that have interest, of course, are the Los Angeles Angels and Detroit Tigers. And you can't obviously forget about the Boston Red Sox who gave him a qualifying offer. And we're hearing reports about them also giving him a multi-year offer. He has until the 17th to make a decision on the qualifying offer. So as we are recording today, he still has not made the decision, but you're probably asking the question, why would the Red Sox give him a qualifying offer? Because his on paper stats aren't amazing. But his nerd stats, as I like to call them as we expand things a little further, are excellent. So let's talk a little bit about Eduardo Rodriguez. In 2021, he finished with a 13-8 and record, 4.74 ERA, 185 strikeouts, 1.38 whip, and a 3.86 FIP. For those who don't know that, that's fielding independent pitching. Huge gap between that and his ERA massive so again his era isn't great but like i mentioned before his nerd stats i'm gonna go a little bit deeper are pretty good in 2021 eduardo rodriguez posted career highs in strikeout rate 27.4 percent and walk rate at seven percent because remember he had a walk issue in 2019 and was able to improve that number and have a career high in 2021. Now, also in 2021, he had a tied a career high in swinging strikeout rate, called strikeout rate, and an opposing chase rate. So again, he finishes with that 4.74 ERA, which a lot of people look at as like, this is the guy you're giving a qualifying offer to. But his trends in regards to strikeouts are absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not done. Because there's a little bit more to Eduardo Rodriguez that I think needs to be mentioned here on this podcast. Everyone loves to talk about exit velo, launch angle, hard hit rate. You see it all the time. You watch ESPN, Fox Sports, some of your local broadcasts. When some of these monsters come to the plate and hit an absolute missile off the bat, they love to mention those specific things. We're seeing hitters go in a direction to put the ball in the air. We see it all the time. This is nuts about Eduardo Rodriguez. In 2021, he finished in the 90th percentile, 90th, in average exit velocity, in 87th in hard hit rate. So in a league that focuses on launch angle, getting the ball in the air, hard hit rate, Eduardo Rodriguez has done a great job limiting opposing hitters from blasting the ball off his bat. Does he still give up home runs, long outs, loud outs, stuff like that? Yes, it happens. It's Major League Baseball. But to finish in the 90th percentile on average exit velocity and 87th and hard hit rate is absolutely unbelievable. Now, after the All-Star game, he did pick things up, lowered his ERA to a 3.71, his FIP to a 2.89, had a 2.11 ERA in his final four starts of the season. So going into this free agent window outside of his one start in the postseason, that was a struggle. Eduardo Rodriguez is pitching some absolutely fantastic baseball. So when you do look at the Eduardo Rodriguez market, don't look at his ERA and his whip. Don't. Because his strikeout numbers are trending in an excellent direction for someone who's looking to make some money. Now, obviously, like I mentioned before, he has till November 17th to make his decision. There are some teams who have interest in him early on in the process. So let's look at some of those teams. Why would the Angels have interest in Eduardo Rodriguez? Well, this answer is easy, and it's easier than any other team in Major League Baseball. It is incredibly unfortunate that the Los Angeles Angels cannot win with two of the best players in baseball. Now, Otani did just get there. 
And in his first season of being one of the best players, if not the best player in baseball, should win the MVP, him and Trout couldn't play together because Trout was injured. But when you look at the Angels right now, they have a potential generational talent in the Shohei Otani. They have a future Hall of Famer in Mike Trout, a World Series champion in Anthony Rendon, and they're going golfing in October. In my opinion, that is a massive problem. Now, there, is, there are a lot of stars in this league didn't make the playoffs this year. They don't make it every year, but this is consistent with the Angels. They don't have enough starting pitching. They need to add pitching depth. What do they do? Spend millions. I, mean, I don't want to make fun of Anthony Rendon. He's one of the better players in the league, but there's been so many instances where the Angels should have focused their finances on pitching and didn't. This offseason, Perry Manassian has no excuse. If I look at the Los Angeles Angels right now, Otani has proven he is a very solid, serviceable starting pitcher. But outside of that, the depth drops off significantly. If this team wants to contend in this division, they need at least two quality starting pitchers to make it there. And when you look at the free agent market, you know, obviously some of the veteran pitchers here on the market want to go to a contending team. The Angels aren't getting Scherzer unless they give him 150 plus million dollars. You know, they're not getting Verlander or Kershaw who are going to contending teams. You know, maybe they sign a Rodon to a one-year deal, maybe give him the second based on how desperate they are for pitching. You know, obviously there's guys like Kevin Gossman on the market, Marcus Stroman, who are going to earn a much larger contract than some of these other names that I've mentioned. But when you look at a guy like Erod, I think it makes a ton of sense for the Angels because he's going to be expensive but not cost too much. Maybe, you know... 18, 19, 20 million dollars per season over a multi year contract. He has experience pitching in the playoffs and he's by far better than any option they have right now on their roster. So, again, if I'm the Angels, this is easy. And number two is the Tigers, who I think have the chance to quietly be one of the most interesting teams here this offseason. Because if you were to tell me at the start of the 2021 season that the Detroit Tigers would finish in and around 500, I would probably start laughing. Because I expected much better out of the Twins and the Royals. And the Indians are, you know, going to be the Indians, play better than expected. And the White Sox are obviously the elite of that division. But in A.J. Hinch's first season, it was extremely productive. And obviously, when you look at the Detroit Tigers right now, a lot of their young core is starting pitching. Uh, Guys who've never pitched in the postseason, played pitch meaningful games in the month of September. You look at Erod. The reason why he's such a perfect fit there is because he checks off those boxes. He's a mid-age pitcher, has plenty of good years left in his arm, obviously pending the scary heart condition he had last year. Hopefully that's something that never appears again. But getting that pitcher who's pitched late in September, pitched meaningful baseball, pitched postseason games, is huge for a team that does not have it in the clubhouse. They have the manager. We're waiting to see if they get that star bat, but the young pitchers in there are legit. They just need someone in that clubhouse who's been there and done that. Now, we're not talking about Max Scherzer here in regards to Eduardo Rodriguez, but the Red Sox have been to the playoffs. The Red Sox have won a World Series while he's been on this team. And I think his presence in Detroit would help a ton. Now, obviously, last but not least is the Boston Red Sox, a team he's played for the last few seasons, pitched very well under Alex Cora since he's taken over as the manager of this baseball team. And let's be real here. If you're going to lose a starting pitcher, you need to have the resources to make it up. And when I look at the Boston Red Sox right now, they don't have it. You know, Chris Sale's someone who has an injury history, even though he's a solid pitcher when he's healthy, he's had some health concerns. Um, Nathan Eovaldi is one of the better pitchers in the American League. I don't think anyone in Boston is too concerned about what we're going to get out of him. Uh, you look a little bit deeper in the red for the Red Sox. You're looking at guys like Nick Pavetta, who was great towards the end of the season, and Tanner Houck, who's expected to take a full-time role in the starting rotation at some point next year. Now, you have to assume Heim Bloom is going to be aggressive in getting a few more depth starters here in free agency, but, you know, I look at this Red Sox position right now, and I think they would terribly miss Eduardo Rodriguez in this rotation. So, yes, he's been up and down. Yes, over a three-year span, he's had an ERA over four. Um, which isn't great, but again, like I mentioned, his nerd stats, his strikeout trends are fantastic. But if the Red Sox lose him, they are going to need to go all in on getting some more pitching here in free agency or on the trade block. Now, 
you know, these other teams, the Red Sox are going to be going up against to pay Erod, have some money to spend in a desperate need for pitching. Now, I wouldn't say too desperate in the point of Detroit sake, because I still think they're in the rebuilding stage, but the Angels are so desperate for pitching. I see them spending a lot of money on starting pitching this offseason. Uh, I was working on MLB radio this morning with Steve Phillips and Jim Bowden, two former MLB general managers. They mentioned that they believe Eduardo Rodriguez is going to get five years and over $100 million. Um, I don't think the Red Sox give him that much money. I think Heim Bloom coming from the Rays background and stuff like that is probably focusing more on three or four, depending on what the AAV is. Again, we don't know because that hasn't been released yet. But when you look at the starting pitching market in Major League Baseball, it doesn't surprise me at all that Eduardo Rodriguez is getting early interest here because the studs at the top are legit. Scherzer has the chance to break Trevor Bauer's AAV record from last year. You know, there's some other future Hall of Famers that are going to go to potentially one-year teams that are going to contend for a world championship. You know, you got other veteran uh, veterans like Stroman, Gossman, uh, Rodon's probably going to get a one-year deal. We'll, we'll definitely have to see what happens with him with the shoulder injury, but the the best of the rest actually after that is Eduardo Rodriguez. And I wouldn't be surprised if after some things get settled here in Major League Baseball that he's one of the first names off the market. So if the Red Sox want to keep Erod, they're going to have to spend some money. Watch out for the Angels. Watch out for the Tigers. We're early here in the process of free agency, and Eduardo Rodriguez is hearing his name mentioned and has the chance to have a nice new contract if he doesn't accept the qualifying offer from many from a few teams around Major League Baseball. What do you believe happens with the future of Eduardo Rodriguez? Feel free to comment that below. Do you want the Boston Red Sox to re-sign him on a pretty nice contract? Give me all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you everyone for tuning in and we will see you very soon.